Hello everybody, I'm Eustace Farmer, and I'd like to welcome you to Gelfin Valley, episode 17. So, this is rather a special little episode. It's been brought to my attention a while back by one of my valued subscribers, Summer Raven. So thank you very much, Summer Raven, that there's a subtle change that happens at night in Gelvin Valley. And that's according to the map author himself, Wild Wild West, that when the sun goes down, something in the valley changes. So I've done a little digging into this, and I think I've come up with an answer. So let's go ahead and get started, and we'll get over to the first point of interest. Okay, so here we are at the first point. So I want you to pay close special attention to the sheep in front of you. I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. Hmm, where did they go? They're all snug in their beds. <laughs> so the sheep, they go inside their little pen at night. So let's go ahead and go over to our second point of interest. Okay, so here we are over at AAA Stables, not too far from the uh, sheep farm. So, uh, and that's really cool that he matches the sign there. It's like he's showing off. <laughs> so let's go over, take a walk over here. There we are. Okay, so pay attention to the horses now. Voila. So the horses go into their stables at night. Now, there is one thing about this particular one that I have seen, and I'll show you. So these horses are always here. You have this one and this one. But there are some empty stables, so when the horses go in at night, um, they don't appear in the empty stables. So this is a um, straw sale point. So, but it is suggested by them disappearing that, you know, they're being led into their stables at night. So, yeah, that's just about it as far as I can see. If you've discovered something else, let me know. Um, so I've done this, you know, several times and watched different things that I suspected, um, because well, well, Wes, he could be a tricky sort. <laughs> um, so I was looking for anything, you know, the, uh, the change in the lighting, do the water in the rivers run backwards or something. <laughs> um, so, um, I didn't encounter any of that. So yeah, as far as I can see. Nothing else strange is happening here in Gelvin Valley. Pretty much business as usual, normal as normal can be, and uh, it's an average daily routine to see the animals uh, go into their pens at night. So that's a pretty cool little feature, though, nonetheless. Oh, I think I just saw my friend Harvey go by. <laughs> oh, hey, how are you, Harvey? Yeah, I guess we can do that. That sounds like a great idea. So, uh, I won't be partaking in the sushi, though. Yeah, Harvey likes to go to the gas station here for uh, late evening um, gas station sushi snack and uh, beer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, I guess I'll go down there with Harvey. Go ahead, Harvey. You go on ahead of me, and uh, I'll follow you down there. I'll meet up with you down there. Yeah, okay, yeah, so... Nothing else strange in Galvin Valley, folks. Everything is normal around here. All 
right, so here we are at the gas station. I'm just waiting on Harvey here. Oh, there he is. Hey, Harvey. You know, Harvey, I gotta tell you, you really need to start wearing pants. You know, that's maybe acceptable where you come from, but around here, these parts, we cover our parts, so, uh... Why don't you join me in saying goodbye to everybody, Harvey, and please, for goodness sakes, don't bow. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little episode. And wherever in the world that you call home, I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. And until we meet again, take good care of yourself. And bye-bye for now. <laughs>